I got a new favorite male character. Oh my god, that fucking professor. You better watch out. You continue to deny that magic exists. You're gonna lose everything in your fucking office. That, that entire scene was so fucking hilarious. At first he's like, okay, I don't care what you blow up. He acted like a standard scientist. All of a sudden his fucking computer explodes. That had to be like a thousand dollars. Oh my god. And then all of a sudden he's like, okay then. I point at this floor. Do that. It fucking explodes when he says it. And then all of a sudden he's like, okay, this is a keepsake from my father. And then boom. And then his face like twitches. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. His face. The way he's like... You could tell he was pissed. He was pissed when his fucking pen just blew up. <laughs> and he's like, very interesting. Tell me more. Oh my god, he's such a fucking badass. I love that fucking professor the way he acts at the end of this episode. So besides that, we find out that Kana's predictions were off mark. I mean, completely off mark. Kotori was innocent all along. The reason why she was smiling at someone's death is because that she was told to smile from her friend that died to save her. So, pretty much Kotori was, would smile at anything, no matter matter how tragic or sad it was, so this shows you why she smiled at the time of death like when Carol Hall was going to die. So, really interesting, and it's weird how Kana's power works, I mean, sometimes it could really fuck him over, I mean, think about this, I mean, it could easily have turned out bad where Kotri was killed for no reason by our main cast of characters, so really, right there... That's messed up. It really is. Also, we've also found out a couple episodes ago that Kana is hiding something, so I'm still gonna lean over to what the fuck is Kana hiding. I mean, seriously, we have this entire point, okay, to where Kana has a bad prediction that she could not predict Kotri going to be innocent, and then she's also hiding something we found out earlier, so... Really interesting, I wonder exactly when we'll find out some more development about her, but besides that, this episode, wow. Fucking wow. It just... It was a good episode. It was a really good episode. I, it was interesting the way they handled the double A plus. I was shocked at how it got handled like that. How Kotori just teleported the double A plus, and then you had her main character just press her button and, and made her harness overload. So right there, great episode demonstrating that. I love the action in this episode. And I love the vibes, and I love that slice of life vibe when everybody's having a happy go lucky time at the club room, and pretty much they're just spraying each other with water in the summer heat. You know, really. At the same time, I love how this series just can shift from a dark tone to a fucking happy tone to a dark tone again. It's just so awesome. I love this series for that. And the main thing that looms over everybody's head in this entire episode and this entire series is no matter how happy they are, no matter how happy they are in this given moment when they're having fun together, they are still on a clock, like a time clock that's slowly ticking down. I mean, they have a limited number of pills, and they can't just go waltzing in into a fucking factory and stealing pills constantly. I mean, that's not gonna happen. I mean, come on. Uh, the government is not that incompetent to where they'll continue to allow them to steal hundreds of pills. So, that's... That is why our main character turned to a scientist to most likely make more of these pills and probably find out how to make these witches not die if they don't take these pills. So right there, I like this episode. I love the way this series is progressing. It's so dark. It's everything I would want. And I just, I love it. I love this series. It's just... Man, this is definitely one of my favorite, like, dark theme series of this anime season just because of the way it's portrayed, and it's also because I was a sucker for Elven Lead. Speaking of Elven Lead, I had flashbacks to the girl that got her arms ripped off because in this episode we see freaking Kotori's friend on the bed and her arm just liquefies and falls off. I was like, Ugh. it's just, oh my god, that was so disgusting. It was so disgusting, but it had to be needed. It just shows you the tragedy of what happens if they do not take these pills. At first we thought they liquefied, but we found out that they'll continue to fucking talk and breathe while their arms and legs fall off. Oh my god, how bad is that? I mean, okay, imagine if you were sitting there talking or you're alive, you cannot move, but your fucking limbs are liquefying and falling off. How would you feel? I mean, okay, I don't even go with that. I don't, I don't wish on anyone that. I wouldn't even wish enemies to die like that. That's fucked up. That is really fucked up, so hopefully this professor can actually somehow fix these witches, Curl Hall and all them. So anyways, everybody, tell me your thoughts on this episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moments about it? Do you feel like the series is getting so fucking badass? That, is this series everything you hope for? All you manga readers out there, is this series letting you down? Are they not doing it right? Are they rushing stuff? Please let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.